Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my reaction to the sixth episode of Flip Flappers. So, the last episode, man, it was creepy and horror-filled episode. Those girls in that school were nightmare-inducing levels of creepy and disturbing. I mean, of course there were nice moments in the episode like the bath scene and Poppy got sucking on Coconut's finger. And just all the Yuri symbolism in general with all the lilies and stuff. It did have its nice moments like that, but man, those girls were just super creepy. In the way Papika and Coconut were just interacting with them like, you know, they weren't super creepy. Just made it even creepier. And it just kept looping over and over again. It was definitely quite an episode. <laughs> Papika and Coconut did end up doing some flip-flapping. And they got the fragments, so things did work out for the best for them. And of course, there was also that scene where they tried to leave, and I think they just, like, collapsed, covered in blood. Yeah. So, hopefully this episode's not quite as creepy as that one. Though with this show, every episode does seem to be quite different. That seems to have been the trend so far. You know, one episode, they're in a desert, fighting each other, a brainwashed coconut, and a shadow creature. And in the next, they're in a creepy school. So, yeah, let's get into the next episode and see what it's about. As usual, there'll be no audio or footage of the anime used in the reaction for copyright reasons. There's a timer in the upper left-hand corner, and subs below me to help you follow along. And so, let us begin in 3, 2, 1, play. And I feel like I used the word creepy too much in that intro. <laughs> Yeah, I just block out the noise with the headphones. That's what they're good for. And how much does the, your enemy have? <laughs> Thank you, Poppycut, for being helpful. That's not very comforting at all. I mean, at least give her a general idea if there's like a thousand of these things. It's going to take a while. I mean, we're halfway through the series, so there can't be that many left. Oh yeah, we did see the twins last episode as well in the... I keep wanting to call it a haunted house when it's not really. Another thing I forgot to mention in my intro was I really am happy with how Poppy Gun Coconut are slowly but surely becoming closer. Like their relationship development I am pretty happy with, and of course getting more of her disturbing dream. Yeah, they would not show up that much unless there was some important plot point to it. Yeah. I would say it was because of the whole flip-flapping thing, but she had that dream before she met Papika. I'm pretty sure. We'll bring you the poisoned apple next week. Hmm. 
What of the drawer? The artist of that painting has been in the pure illusion. <laughs> what are you doing, Papika? You're gonna sling paint everywhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> the right to paint your nails? That didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's some expensive equipment in that room. <laughs> Coconut's just like, why am I here again? <laughs> I could watch them flip-flop every episode. Wait, there's also the issue of there's something sync ratio. I, I assume that's improved by now. Of course they steal the fragment again. That really isn't fair at all. But the bad guys usually don't care about what's fair. <laughs> His tackle. Yeah, that pure illusion does look like a painting. Oh wow, did you really get it? <laughs> he just jumps in the hole. Yeah, you shouldn't get too cocky. Things like that can't happen. <laughs> you know, Coconut getting red hair when she transforms. When Papika has red hair normally. It's like they're trying to confuse me. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be the first one to go through that. I think it's too late. Wow, I didn't even let them take the stone. I think the stone fell out outside of the gate. They didn't really show it. And they're going to be separated. Maybe. I know they were separated during the desert one. Is that a little coconut? <laughs> Making a little bit of a mess there. Yeah, I just have to clean it up afterwards. Don't eat it. <laughs> wow, change of tune pretty quickly. That's a small bathtub. <laughs> T 
teaching her the ancient art of water squirting. <laughs> I'm not finished yet, don't look. I don't think it's possible to draw wrong. <laughs> wow, the bath scene. I can see that. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Although weird really isn't a bad thing. Clock take me a little bit nervous since the last episode. <laughs> she is, isn't she? So she's not living there, she was just visiting. <laughs> Back to the fingernail polish thing. <laughs> More giants. She really is quite cute. Hmm. <laughs> I figured she would say yes to that. Doesn't exactly look like the most welcoming home. <laughs> probably because it's nobody turned on the lights. Oh, Papika. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> So they're both named Eero in this? <sighs> Man, that like distorted animation. I know, right? That's what I want to know. 
I mean, I guess we were looking at a coconut's past. <laughs> the camera angle. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I just realized it, but it was not Coconut's memories. It was the memories of the painter girl that was in the one club room that said she didn't have the rights to paint her nails or whatever. I should have picked up on that sooner. I'm slow, whatever. Man, her drawings. Uh, I do kind of like them. This really is a creative show. Yeah, the Anne's gonna die soon, isn't she? in a hospital. You know, that gate's probably there for a reason. your hands on the wall. <sighs> yeah, I figured that's where this was going.
We go from the last episode, which was a horror episode, to a sad episode. She was so happy. <laughs> yeah, so even she was probably aware of that problem. And I think Iro is the Japanese word for color. The two heroes together this time. <laughs> and it restored the color to her. Really stocks up on that nail polish. <laughs> Funny that Yurgo was in her first and last name. And she's wearing the nail polish. Yeah, but early episode you said you didn't have the right to wear it. Which I'm guessing was an issue resolved by them doing what they did. I really do love this ending theme. Really it's just a very creative, unique anime. He almost got her. I 
I saw a swimsuit. <laughs> Pure components. Wonder what that's about. But yeah, that was the sixth episode of Flip Flappers. And yeah, it was a bit more of a sad episode there. Um, it was definitely an interesting episode. Uh, Papika and Coconut basically ended up diving into what was Eero's memories. And obviously we learned exactly what her thing about the nail polish was. And it was interesting how we saw Eero's past, but Coconut and Papika were actually in place of Eero in them. And were able to do their own thing in it. But... Yeah, and I am pretty sure Iro was a Japanese word for color, which is why color was restored to the ants at the end there. And yeah, there was obviously little hints here and there that the ant was losing her memories, probably has Alzheimer's or something, until she got to the point where she had to be hospitalized. And it was pretty clear that her aunt's place is where she went to to get away from her house, because her parents were obviously always fighting, and probably took it out on her a little bit. Because you could tell she didn't really want to go home. She made that very obvious. But yeah, it was definitely an interesting episode. So let me know what you thought of the anime. What you thought of my reaction in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.